Hi, I'm David Karapetian and I'm uh, one of the principal dancers with San Francisco Ballet. So I was born and raised in Armenia, city Yerevan. I went to National Ballet School of Armenia, got scholarship to go to Switzerland, to Zurich. I studied there for a year. So David, I've met in 1999 at the Grand Prix de Lausanne. It was the professional division and he was a great performer. He struck me as a very, very talented dancer. After that, the director of Zurich Ballet, Heinz Spiorli, offered me a contract there, and I joined uh, Zurich Ballet. Uh, I worked there for six years, and that was 2004 when I came to audition for Sam School Ballet. When I saw him, I thought, yeah, absolutely, this is a dancer that would fit very well into this company and I would love to have. I think of David as the ultimate classicist. He builds the structure, the mechanics, the athletic aspect of it, but he never fails to give it a, the breadth and beauty of an interpretation. At the same time that he was so well suited to the classics, being Albrecht and Cicel or Swan Lake, he was terrific in the contemporary works. It is a real treasure to see the evolution of a dancer and how he's uh, embodied all the different roles and interpret with such clarity and such beauty. Very importantly is like stage present. So for me, Davi is the one heaven. And he could be also very dramatic. John Nomeyer's Little Mermaid, where he was the creature. I was, when I first saw him, I thought, this can't be David, you know, this is so different from him. I was amazed about it. It was such a joy meant to dance with him in that role. He just transformed himself. In Ratmansky's uh, trilogy, he was just a tormented man. And you could sense that on stage and in the audience. It brings such joy to me to see male dancers dance on that level. My name is Vanessa Zahorian, and I've been a principal ballerina here at San Francisco Ballet for 20 years. So I'm from Allentown, Pennsylvania, and I started training ballet at Central Pennsylvania Youth Ballet under Marcia Del Weary, and I was five years old, and then I went on to the Kirill Ballet Academy in Washington, D.C., and I was offered a scholarship to the Kirov Ballet in St. Petersburg, Russia. I was there for about a year, and I auditioned for San Francisco Ballet on my way back from Boston Ballet. I just remember the minute I put my eyes on her in the studio, I thought, that's a dance that I would like to have. He offered me a core contract right there. I seem to remember I had to sort of convince her and her mother that Vanessa really should come to this company which she finally did, and, and I'm delighted about that because I've really enjoyed her dancing over the years. When I joined the company, San Francisco Ballet, um, I got a chance to perform with Vanessa pretty much every role in the season or for the first few seasons. And I think our first Nutcracker together was very special, and I'd say she would always be in my memory as a this beautiful princess. The thing I remember uh, about the first time meeting uh, Vanessa was how beautiful she was. I was stunned at her outer beauty. And of course, as I've gotten to know her, I, I realized that her inner beauty is even more amazing. She really had a joy when she danced doing whatever movement that was, if it was in the neoclassical classic or contemporary. I always felt she was happy. Vanessa has a brilliant technique, beautiful articulate footwork. She uses her feet in such a, a stunning way. She's a great turner, just a natural turner. She can move at a very fast pace and still in a good articulate way and I'm particularly thinking again about a balancing repertory. I probably would say my favorite role of hers is Juliet. The way she falls in love with her Romeo just was so honest and beautiful, and I, I think about her in that role a lot. I loved her in that. 
probably some of you will remember, you know, he proposed to her on stage um, in the end of Romeo and Juliet. I will never forget David kneeling before Vanessa. This proposal was one of the best moments of my life, so I think I'm always going to remember that. And I also remember so many people, Vanessa applaud, applauded, that so many people didn't know if she had said yes or not. Yeah, it was special and, and scary a little bit, but it turned out okay. It was a beautiful, beautiful experience on stage, one like I'd never had, so. <laughs> I think that's such a treasure to be able to leave your love on and off stage. Dancing with each other is just, just looking to each other's eyes even. It just translates everything so much better. And everything becomes more natural. So it's been very special always. I'm most proud of our exploration of, you know, our partnership on stage and off stage and now moving on to this next phase. They are going to be leading a school in Pennsylvania, and I can't think of anybody better suited for it with their background and uh, knowledge of the classical vocabulary and giving that and passing that on to young dancers. I'm very excited for her for her future because I think that she and David are going to be great teachers, and I think they're going to bring up a whole new generation of wonderful dancers and wonderful human beings. I'm so very thankful to our amazing audience and supporters. This has been home for me and you've been part of my family all this year. So thank you so much for your support. You have given us the motivation and the excitement to want to be surrounded by you and um, it's all because of Helgi Thomason that we're here and it's just been a magnificent ride and we're excited for our next chapters and also to come back and to support and to watch and um, so we'll still be around. Mm -hmm.